when Saitoti died, I was no longer in the intelligence. And when Saitoti died, I was already a public figure as a whistleblower as far as intelligence is concerned. And uh, I was... Uh, before I became a public figure, I used to meet people in the intelligence and they would brief me what was happening. But when I became public, they avoided me. Not only that, um, I would look at issues and then uh, as somebody who has worked with the intelligence, I would say this and that. And I'm told and I'm made to understand that uh, intelligence bosses used to think that uh, some of the colleagues who are still in service were tipping me for whatever was happening. So whenever I could meet an intelligence officer, they would run away from me. Because if they stay with me and it is uh, known that uh, we have been together, then they would have problems because people would say that it is him or her who had briefed me what was happening. So what happened during Saitoti's death, I would say I'm only doing my expert opinion. I have no access to the intelligence within uh, the intelligence world, especially at the time when Saitoti died. Now, to start with, Saitoti, people call him Professor Saitoti. Uh, just like uh, Robert Ouko, Robert Ouko was called Dr. Robert Ouko. But uh, Dr. Robert Ouko was, had no degree of a doctorate. Ouko, by the time he was dying, he was studying for his PhD. But uh, he had a doctor. You can see all the Kenyan presidents have a doctorate. But it is only Ruto who has a PhD. So all these others have a honorary doctorate. And that is why it is not good to call Dr. Jomo Kenyatta, Dr. Daniel Arap Moy, uh, Dr. Mwai Kibaki, uh, Dr. Uhuru Moigai Kenyatta. But uh, Ruto is referred to as doctor because he has a PhD. The same applies to Professor Saitoti. Professor Saitoti was not a full, doc, full, full professor. Uh, you find that Wajakoya is referred to as Professor Wajakoya. Uh, Prof Wajakoya is calling himself Professor using the American system. You know, some of the degrees, some of the half a dozen degrees he got, he got them from America. And in American system, uh, what we in Kenya we call lecturers, university lecturers in the US, they call them Professor. Just like somebody can tell you, I'm so-and-so, I'm a lecturer at uh, this and that university. In America, even a smallest person on the... You know, the, the smallest person, what we call UT, untrained teacher, in the university is called tutorial fellow. Then from tutorial, you go to... Uh, you become a lecturer. Then from lecturer, you become a senior lecturer. Then from senior lecturer, you become an associated professor. After associated professor, you become a full professor. Associated professor is an assistant professor or a deputy professor. Uh, in, we, that, that is now using... I said the U.S. system, everybody teaching in the university is called a professor. But uh, in uh, the British system, an associated professor is not a professor. He or she is acting as a professor 
once he or she has been confirmed in his or her appointment as a professor, then he or she becomes a professor. So that is how Saitoti uh, got called uh, Professor Saitoti. Saitoti was teaching uh, maths in the university and for a long time we used to have Kibaki as the Minister for Finance. But uh, after Kibaki uh, left the Finance Ministry and became the Vice President and the Minister for Home Affairs, uh, Moi realized the mistake he had done in appointing, in appointing uh, Magugu, other Kinyanjui Magugu, as the Minister for Finance. To date, other Magugu is on record as the only finance minister who postponed the budget. It reached uh, one time, it reached a time when the budget was to be read on a Thursday. Uh, and you see, Kenyan budget is read together on the same day with the Tanzanian and Ugandan uh, budgets. They are done that since these countries became independent. But for one year, Saitoti, no, not Saitoti, other Kinyanjui Magugu had to pro postpone by one week. It has never happened. In fact, when James Gichuru was the Minister for Finance, there's a time when uh, he was supposed to read the budget, but uh, he was at River Road drinking. And the president was in the parliament and uh, waiting for James Gichuru to come and read the budget. Uh, people knew James Gichuru's favorite bar in River Road. They went and took him. He came and read the budget while he was completely drunk. So that is uh, when, uh, of course, Moi could not return Kibaki back to the finance because of the political implications. Uh, then he had to scout out for this uh, lecturer who taught uh, applied maths and at the same time was the chairman of the Kenya Commercial Bank. So he brought him and they made him the Minister for Finance. But then, he, when he was the Minister for Finance, there was this fellow who knew the standing orders of head. He was called Joseph Martin Shikuku. So one time, Joseph Martin Shikuku challenged uh, Saitoti to state uh, a certain standing order. But Saitoti could not state it because that uh, standing order had said that there are some ministries like defense, like finance, and so on. Those ministries must be uh, headed by a minister who is elected, who has public confidence but not a nominated and you see Saitoti was a nominated uh, MP and Minister for Finance and that is why uh, Philip Odupoi Philip Odupoi uh, was uh, convinced to step down as the MP for Ngong or Kajado North so that um, he uh, Saitoti becomes an elected leader then it reached a time when uh, Moi wanted uh, Saitoti dead, and that is why uh, something was added to Saitoti's uh, uh, drink or food. And uh, Saitoti, on this very same day, on the very same day that uh, Uko died, and uh, President Moi is already on record saying that those who killed Uko. Uh, are the ones who killed, uh, who tried to kill Saitoti. Now that was the first time that Saitoti had uh, an attempt on his life. But today we are only talking about the second attempt on his life. On the second attempt of his life, I can say that um, from the onset, because I'll go on it, is that uh, Saitoti was. Uh, had a, a, a war chest. He was ready to to, to, to com campaign for the presidency. And the person who was doing the, the donkey work was Jimmy uh, Wanjigi. Jimmy Wanjigi was behind it. 
and that is why I have an opinion that um, if Saitoti would not have died, I, I do not see how Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta would have been the president because they would have split uh, the votes and maybe Raila would have been the president. Or even if Uhuru would have won, he would not have, you know, Uhuru inherited all the mechanism, all the finance and everything that Saitoti had after his death. But I am convinced beyond reasonable doubt that Uhuru or the camp that is associated with Uhuru, I have no doubt that uh, that camp is not related to the death of, even though they benefited financially and politically from Saitoti's death, but I'm convinced beyond reasonable doubt that uh, they did not kill Saitoti. Now, this is what I believe happened to Saitoti. You know, in Kenya, Kenya, Kenya was ruled, and maybe it's still ruled, by war, war drugs. You can uh, remember the two brothers who were kidnapped and taken to the U.S. So in Kenya, we had uh, drug barons playing the everything. And the American Central Intelligence Unit, CIA, approached Saitoti. They approached Saitoti. You see, any dealings you have with the American system, American system, if you come from a strategic place like the Suez Canal, America would want a stable dictator because of their security interest. So these things about Americans saying, we want a democratic party, we want, we want a democratic country, we want this. It is on condition that the, the first and foremost interest is the interest, the American military or commercial interest. Now, drugs used to pass through Mombasa. They would go to... The drugs used to pass through Mombasa and they would go to America and spoil the American youth. So these people wanted, the Americans wanted a president. They, they wanted somebody to assist them uh, dismantle the drugs people in Mombasa. They wanted to, to, to do that and they approached Saitoti as the Minister for Internal Security. They told Saitoti, uh, don't ask me how they did, they would do it, but they told Saitoti that uh, if you can make sure that we arrest and we kidnap and, and take uh, the known drug addicts, in, no, no, drug barons in Mombasa, we rush them to the USA for, to face, you know, with the CIA, the important thing to them is that uh, the drug barons in Mombasa were taking drugs to USA. So the best way is to arrest those people and take them to the American courts. So Saitoti was approached and he was asked if he could uh, assist the uh, secret agents to smuggle these people out of Kenya. And he was promised that if such a thing happened, the USA or the CIA knew how they would uh, do it and make uh, Saitoti the president. You can remember when there was a meeting in Mombasa, there was, uh, Saitoti came late after the president. And uh, when he came to attend the meeting, he, he had a, co a court on. It is because he had, um, he had just had a meeting with the CIA in Nairobi, and uh, uh, they were planning on how they were to take these drug barons. And then he went to, Amer to, uh, he went to Mombasa uh, to attend that meeting. Uh, and he forgot to remove the suit. Although, Saitoti, since the time that uh, they, they, they poisoned him, and uh, he rarely left his court. Why? Because inside his court, he used to put on a bulletproof. Uh, now, the last day, Saitoti, a person like Oro Jode was just uh, collateral damage or Ojode was a collateral damage, and um, that is how he died. 
and uh, you can see that um, the people, the police officers, you know, these days, police and military, police, KWS and whatever, pilots who are at uh, Wilson Airport, uh, do not go as per their, their training or instruction. So government, uh, government pilots are supposed to be given time to rest. They are supposed to, most of the time, just stay within Wilson, relaxing. Yeah, if, if today you maybe flew five hours, you're supposed to spend two or three days without flying. But you see these people are in Wilson, and we have so many planes at Wilson. People have planes, but they don't have pilots. So they just come to a police pilot and say, uh, I have some people who have hired my helicopter, somebody who have hired my plane, and they are supposed to go to, uh, they are supposed to go to uh, Mombasa. And then is so that is what used to happen. But uh, the instructions for such pilots is that uh, the, you, you 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 fly a plane, stay for some time, then have another shift. But you'll find that uh, uh, there's these uh, pilots who who are on off, who are not supposed to fly anybody anywhere. Those who are supposed to fly uh, Saitoti. Were, to, were told to stand down, not to fly him. And others who were not even uh, ready, who had already taken alcohol, and, and you don't know whether that alcohol was also spiked, because there is a lady pilot, I think, there was a lady pilot and there was a gent pilot who were found um, socializing, having a drink, and they were told, can you go and take that plane and drive all the way to? So, uh, my assumption is that uh, the plane was interfered. The pilots were also, uh, the, their drinks must have been spiked. And uh, that is what led to Saitoti's death at Ngo. And uh, finalizing, I would say that I strongly believe that uh, Saitoti was not killed because of the political intrigues in Kenya, but it is the drug barons who did it. He was killed by drug barons, but not uh, political marginalization. Uh, those who gained or lost were just ga they gained or lost by good or bad luck, but otherwise they did not participate in Saitoti's death.